So for um, number 73, they want us to look at this uh, at the sequence here and determine whether it is uh, increasing, always increasing, always decreasing, or not monotonic. So not monotonic means that it switches from increasing to decreasing and vice versa. So we have uh, a n is equal to 1 over 2 n plus 3. And the way that we're going to prove um, that this is either always decreasing, uh, always increasing, or not monotonic, is we're going to approximate this using the function um, y is equal to 1 over 2 x plus 3. And the reason that we're going to do this is because the function and the sequence, they have the same behavior. They have the same limit. Um, they're you know, they, if one is always increasing, so is the other. The only difference between the function and the sequence is that the function takes on every single value, whereas the sequence uh, only takes natural numbers, right? So um, if I were to draw a random function that goes, that goes like this, this is f of x, uh, our a of n is going to do the same thing, but it's only going to be um, defined here at the natural numbers. So we can see that that behavior is the same, right? And the reason that we want to um, represent this with a function is because we can take the derivative. And remember that the derivative tells us the rate of change, right? Um, and so if the derivative is positive, it means that the function is always increasing. And if the derivative is negative, it means that the function is always decreasing. So we're going to take y prime is going to be equal to, let's see, uh, on the bottom, that's going to be 2x plus 3 squared. And then on the top, that's going to be uh, the lower one plus the derivative, sorry, times the derivative of the upper, which is 0, right? The derivative of 1, 0, minus the upper times the derivative of the lower, which is just 2. So this is going to be, um, the whole thing is going to go to 0, so minus 2 divided by 2x plus 3 squared. And we can see that this is going to be um, negative for all the domain, right? Because the bottom, since it's a square, um, the bottom is always positive. So uh, we can say that y prime is negative because the top is always going to be negative and the bottom is always going to be positive because of the square. So negative divided by a positive is always going to give us um, a negative number. Is negative for all the domain. So uh, y is decreasing and and therefore a n is decreasing. Okay, so we've established that a n is constantly decreasing, right? Um, actually, let me just clean up my handwriting a little bit. And thus, a n is decreasing as well. Okay. And so once we establish this, um, it's asking us, is the sequence bounded? Well, if it's always decreasing, it means that the first term is always the bigger one, right? Because the second term is going to be smaller than the first term, and so on and so forth. So we can say here, so what's the first term? a1 is going to be equal to 1 divided by 2 times 1 plus 3 is 1 over 5, right? So we can say that a n is going to be um, less than or equal to 1 fifth. And let's see what happens uh, when we take the limit as n goes to infinity. So um, when we go the limit of a n as n goes to infinity, so what happens at um, the very end of the sequence, if you will, even though it doesn't end, right? How does it behave? Well, we're going to have here one, 1 divided by 2 times infinity plus 3, so that's 1 divided by infinity, which is equal to 0, right? So we can see that a n tends to 0 as n gets very large, so a n is greater than or equal to 0. And so we can say that um, a n is bounded, is bounded because a n is less than or equal to one fifth, which is the first term. So I'll just put a one and is greater than or equal to zero, which is the limit as n gets very large. And so that is it for number 73. Um, we have proved that it is always decreasing and that it is bounded between zero and one fifth.